for today's webinar, we're actually doing uh, one of our annual favorite presentations. So this is our show and tell. And it's actually been, I think, almost 18 months since we last did a show and tell. And I wish we had more time than just the hour that we're going to be together because there's been a lot of fun projects, a lot of cool new marketing technology, a lot of creative staffing ideas that we're going to get a chance to take a look at. So today, as you can see on the presented by part of the opening slide, We've got a lot of people here to introduce various projects to you. So Kelly, Todd, McKenzie, Matt, and Magezi are all going to have the opportunity to show off some of the things that our team has been doing. And uh, again, it's just sort of like the the top of the uh, or the tip of the iceberg of what we've been doing the last 18 months, but some really fun projects. So let's kind of jump in and take a look at what we're going to cover today because there's a ton, and I'm just going to roll right through the agenda. So we're going to look at websites. I think Kelly's going to walk us through a number of Genius Award winners from 2017. We're going to take a look at some really, really cool updates that have been going on with our job board software. We're going to take a look at some of the highlights of some of our award-winning social media work. We're going to get caught up on some of the things that are new in reputation management. We're going to look at some of the latest trends in email marketing and our Haley Mail service. Uh, we won't forget some of the old school stuff. We had uh, some really cool direct marketing projects. And speaking of really cool, a couple of other surprises that some of you may have seen throughout the year, but we're saving till the end of today's presentation. So to get things rolling, Kelly, you want to take us through a few websites, starting with Wood Personnel. Yep. Thank you, David. Um, yeah, as David mentioned, we're going to focus on a couple of our Genius Award winners. Uh, we really could take an entire hour alone just doing our featuring all of our great websites that we work on. The first one we're going to focus on today is Wood Personnel. This was a custom website, and the really unique thing about this is not only did it win a Genius Award and the client came in with a goal of winning a Genius Award, but this site was really a functionality first website, meaning that the functionality drove the design of the site. We were looking for very simple to access information for both job seekers and clients, a simple, simple message of just good people with very striking um, imagery that focuses on people only with a very clean look and simple design. Um, next one, David. On to Able & Associates. Able & Associates is one of our starter design sites, also won a Genius Award winner. This site is an example of carrying a very strong brand throughout the entire site with sailing themed headlines and imagery that we did a really, we, we, they, we, everybody did a great job on the team carrying that um, Able and Associates sailboat message straight through. Again, this was another Genius Award winner and it's got a lot of strong calls to action and makes it very easy for employers and job seekers to find the information that they're looking for. Yeah, can and I, the final go ahead, go ahead jump in. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to highlight a couple of things because we're unfortunately for everybody, we're not going to be doing live demos of these sites, but you're welcome to Google them right. later and check them out. But one of the things I liked about both of these sites that I wanted to just throw in here is you mentioned it's sort of in the first one with Wood Personnel is really thinking about the actions we want people to take. And, and so often when people come to us for website projects, they're really focused on the look and the imagery. And the reality is, is you know, website in the staffing industry is effective if it gets candidates to apply for jobs and it gets employers to contact the staffing company and, and both of these examples and right from the home page particularly in the wood example that whole action bar concept that we designed for them um, great ways to get people thinking about what they want to do when they visit a staffing company's website and to get them to the places they can take actions faster. So you sort of see on the left side of the screen, um, right on the home page, a fly out, know someone looking for a great job because Abel was really focused on trying to boost referrals. But then right below that, they actually have the great jobs and they're promoting their featured jobs throughout the site. And then, you know, Kelly, as you mentioned, just the imagery helps support the overall feel and brand of the organization. I just wanted to highlight the, the actions and just the amount of additional traffic that it's bringing to these companies by just thinking through a different way to approach uh, navigation and calls to action. And speaking of which, now I know you're going to do an example that has lots of unique things. I was going to say, that's a great lead into the next example, which is um, MedPro Healthcare Staffing. With MedPro, this site isn't um, 
is still in the final stages of development. The really great thing about MedPro is they focused on some research on their audience and found that travel nursing was seen as a cold and really disconnected experience. And before they even embarked on the website project, they internally took a look at how they could address that with their candidates and change their entire internal process to focus on candidates and travel nursing, and they based it on companies that are known for their legendary service. So that took almost a year to implement. They actually brought in hospitality experts to help focus on their on their nurses and their candidates, and they re, really rebranded them by calling, instead of just calling them candidates or job seekers or travel nurses, they call them their explorers. Other things that they've done specific to the site is it's very warm and welcoming site. Their homepage, um, rotates through several very beautiful large images of areas with questions, are the sunsets as glorious in California? Are the skyscrapers really tall in New York? Really grabbing the attention of your audience. Additionally, we have animated statistics on the homepage that express MedPro's rating on Glassdoor and all of the information that you can see there. And then focusing on the action, whether the audience was travel nurses, allied professionals, or even foreign trained professionals, we wanted them to very easily be able to see what jobs are available, make it easy for them to search the jobs and apply for the jobs. So all the calls to action throughout the site are really about searching and apply. And then the final call to action is the Experience MedPro. And there's an entire section that talks about the MedPro experience and how they are different. And really they're looking at um, not just making the promises, but living up to those promises. If I had just one more second, they do carry this out through um, birthday gifts on their social media. They encourage their explorers to post when they receive items. They get um, MedPro branded birthday cakes, which I think is a very great, cool, unique idea to extend this entire brand out throughout different, um, different media. Thanks, Kelly. And I, I was, yep. yeah, I want to want to repeat, <laughs> yeah, repeat what you said because I'm just, I'm so impressed with an organization. I know when they first came to us, they had a very different view of who their customer was, their travel nurse, and they chose to st step back, do some market research, and get to know their nurses better than they thought they knew them. And they didn't just rely on the assumptions they had because it turned out a lot of those assumptions weren't accurate. And once they got the data, they didn't just set out to build a new website. It, Kelly, you said it perfectly. You know, They said, we're going to live this brand and we're going to make these changes, not just to our website, but to our service process, to what we call people, to how we deal with people, to the experience of the internal uh, recruiting team so that we can deliver not just a web presence, not just client communication, but we can deliver a customer experience for the travel nurse that's unlike what they would get from some of the big national travel nurse companies and enables MedPro to effectively compete against both bigger and smaller travel nurse organizations by being so much more focused on what their candidates really want. and just. Kudos to the, the folks at MedPro for taking it that seriously to really make the brand the core to the values they live and core to the operations. And then the website really just becomes a way to show off what they've done to make their business better. Exactly. All righty. So next up, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about our starter sites. And Kelly, you mentioned Able that uh, they were a Genius Award winner using our starter sites. A lot of you may be familiar with that we offer multiple approaches to website design, value sites, starter sites, and custom sites. Well, for our value sites, we really expanded the library and we improved the functionality this year. So we now have uh, 30 different uh, starter site designs that we customize for clients who choose the starter site level. We added 13 new ones this year. We added three specifically for multi-divisional staffing companies. We're finding companies that have parent-child brands and they want to have within one website a distinct area for the, the child brand. I mean, for example, if you're you know, ABC staffing group and then maybe you've got ABC technical and ABC engineering and ABC accounting, 
that's what a multi-divisional site is intended to do, is make it easy to show off each of those divisions and make it stand on its own. We also, um, for years, have been doing multiple responses, multiple ways to deal with making websites responsive. And because of some of the changes that Google made and how they rank sites, we've made some technical changes in how we build our starter sites. And I won't bore anybody with details other than doing things to make them faster, to make them better optimized, uh, to make them so that they will rank as well as they can possibly rank even before we start putting all the content on the pages. I also know for those of you who host with us, we're in the midst of working on some really big improvements and changes to our hosting environment. It's going to take us a long time because it's very complicated to implement everything, but that's going to result in even faster website performance and hopefully um, when Google sees that everyone's sites are performing faster, going to result in better optimization and going to result in giving all of our clients a lot more control. So if you're thinking about a new site in 2018 and want to see all the new starter sites, let us know. If you want to get a copy of our staffing website features checklist to help plan the content and functionality of your new site, let us know. Give us a call at that 888-696-2900. Shoot us an email at info at haleymarketing.com and we'll be happy to get you the checklist, get you a link to check out the new starter site designs. And speaking of new and website, the other big thing we did, and probably almost everybody on today's call has seen it, is in October, we launched our all-inclusive staffing website. And this came out of the fact that about two-thirds to, well, I would say about three-quarters of all the websites we develop for our clients are starter sites. And on those starter sites, a lot of companies want very similar features. A lot of companies sometimes want features that push the total project a little out of their budget. And they don't really want to sacrifice features. They don't want to sacrifice on their, what's in their bank account. So we said, well, let's give people the best of both worlds. Let's create a website that's easier to buy. Let's create a website that has every feature a staffing company might want. Let's find a way to bundle in service to give more value. And let's develop a different way to price the site so that even if you're a small company, it's very affordable to get an amazing website. And that's what all-inclusive is designed to do. You can choose any of our starter site designs. We put in there the design, the copy, the SEO. It includes our job board software. It's fully responsive, optimized for mobile. It's got some brand new features that aren't in any of our client sites, except for a few where we custom built features, a call to action manager, a fly-in manager, testimonials, case studies, and team profiles managers, a host of different response vehicles to get more people to take action on the website. Um, we also included something brand new, priority support. Uh, kind of the ability to get first in line when you have a support question and it includes up to two hours a month of ongoing site edits. And then we're providing ongoing upgrades to all of the technology behind the scenes for keeping WordPress up to date, keeping plugins up to date, and new releases to our job board software just about every month. So we put that all together in one package and a time's sake, I'm not going to get any more detail today, but if you want to check out the package, it's haleymarketing.com slash websites 2017. You can see how we put it all together to make it very affordable for, for any company to be able to get a, a top of the line staffing website. And I think the, uh, I got a couple left for me, but uh, one of the other new things is we were approached by a company that provides chatbot software. And for those of you who aren't familiar with chatbots, you know, when you show up to a website and somebody appears in the corner and ask a question like, how can I help you? And then there may be an open box that you can type into, or in the case of our chatbot, we can create scripts. So you see an example for corner, Cornerstone the chatbot on their website and if somebody visits their website they can say I'm looking for a job I'm looking to hire I've got a question or just I'm looking for your frequently asked questions and the idea is there's a lot of people who come to your website thousands every single month who may not be ready to apply to a job who may not be ready to engage with a recruiter or a staffing coordinator but you don't want to lose those people so it's a really painless way for you and for the client or candidate to start to chat and you add the chatbot to the website and it automatically pops up and attempts to engage people in conversation. If you want to have a live operator jump in, they can jump in at any time. The chatbot will notify someone that a chat is going on. 
And the idea is we can capture more leads visiting our website. And so we only rolled this out for our first clients, I believe it was in October. And um, I'll give you the stats. The, we have one client, very small. Um, they've had 115 new leads in the past two months, but they're the smallest. After that, we have 441, 484, 706, and uh, our most active client's website that has the chatbot has 989 new leads in two months. And those are people who have gone through, had a chat, requested information that would have disappeared without the chatbot. So for a chatbot's a, I'll tell you right now, it's a hundred dollar a month upgrade to a website. To add that feature is capturing an average across our clients of more than 200 visitors, getting them to respond each and every month. So that's one of the big new things from website feature. Another one is changes to our job board software. Now, for those of you using our software, you've probably seen some of our announcements along the way, but tons has gone on with our job board this year. We now integrate with Flash Recruit, which is another chat so software. This one's not an automated bot, but it's sort of the opposite. When someone comes to your website, if they want to chat with a recruiter, they can click a button and then Flash Recruit goes and contacts the recruiter who's working on that job to see if they're available for a chat. Now, if you're in a type of staffing where it's really hard to find talent and you don't want anybody disappearing because they have a question and they're not ready to apply, Flash Recruit's a way to get those people to engage with your recruiters before they move on. So IT, engineering, healthcare, the really hard to find skill disciplines, great way to get more response. Flash Recruit also integrates not just with us, but with Bullhorn, so all of the candidates' information as it's captured through the chat goes right into Bullhorn. Um, you probably, unless uh, you have not watched any tech news this year, have noticed that Google made some big moves in the labor market, and specifically, they launched Google for Jobs and Google Hire this year. So Google for Jobs is a way that candidates can have a better search experience. When you go to a browser or you go to Google and you type in, I'm looking for a job in or find jobs near me, you're gonna see a blue box like you see in the bottom right corner of the screen that's gonna be the Google for jobs response. And Google is then trying to figure out what jobs are most relevant for that job seeker based on what the person typed in. Uh, today, Google, has some preferred partners that they tend to be at the top of the list, Career Builder, uh, Zip Recruiter, um, Glassdoor, they tend to get jobs very high on the list. But anybody can take jobs and optimize, it's called schema markup, and I won't bore anybody with technical details, but it's the stuff behind the scenes to make the jobs ready for Google. We started doing that back in May, and we've been working with the improving our markup on the jobs all along. And what I'm really excited about was in October, um, we actually were contacted um, by a representative from Google and invited to participate in the Google for Jobs beta program, which we're in the middle of integrating right now, which will take our integration to a whole new level. So when somebody's looking for jobs, providing them with much more relevant search results, uh, helping them do a better job finding exactly what they want, which should get more candidates to apply when they're visiting your website. So uh, I'm just beyond thrilled. I had our first discussion with uh, my personal, our tech team's been talking to Google for a while now. I had my first discussion with them two days ago. Um, they've actually said they'll, they'll do a webinar with us next year once we have the integration completely done and we can show everybody just what Google's doing to make the job search experience better. A few other improvements to the job board. We added the EEO questionnaire so we can track e those data fields for EEO requirements. We've added a lot of new ATS integrations, iSIMS, API Healthcare, eRecruit, Eviante Arrow, uh, to name a few, so that we can now have our software integrate with more of the staffing industry's ATSs. We also are pushing jobs to more sites so we can get more people to your jobs and at no cost. So we're pushing to ZipRecruiter, who has been great about taking our clients' jobs on their site. Uh, a couple of lesser known sites, uh, Job Rapido, Job Fuel, and a couple of other job boards and what we're doing is just helping get more free distribution of your jobs. Some of these sites are also going to want to help it, help you promote your jobs with some paid options, whether it's programmatic advertising, pay-per-click or pay-per-post. We're not charging anything um, to have the free distribution, but they do have upgrade paths to doing more with some of the integrators. 
So those are some of the highlights of what's new with the job board. And it's all about right now improving that candidate experience and getting more people to apply. Next one I'll talk about is the Talent Showcase, which uh, some of you have, may have know about. It's our way to take skill marketing and bring it into the 21st century, give it that flavor of being uh, social media, and actually using your website as a tool to do skill marketing. So employers can come and search for talent based on keywords and geographic locations. They can view profiles of the candidate that you've developed to help promote those candidates in the best way possible. And then they can just, with one click, indicate that they are interested in interviewing that candidate or getting the resume and it goes right to the recruiter who's working with that candidate. You could also, as you see on screen on the right, the recent hot talent, create feeds of your, of your talent and bring featured candidate profiles throughout your website. Uh, and lastly, there's the ability for the candidate to create their own profile. Now, it doesn't go directly into your website, but it's a way for candidates to build a profile that goes to you that you can review. And if the candidate looks great, you can mark, skill market them right away. But for you, it's really a way to recruit, to show people, hey, if you're looking for a job, we've got this talent showcase. We're going to do more than the average staffing company to help our candidates get placed. And we're going to help present you in the best light possible to employers. And so in the talent showcase this year, we had a lot of new minor features. Probably the biggest one is a direct integration with Bullhorn. So if you're putting your candidate information into Bullhorn, you can enter what you want in the profile and we can pull that directly into the talent showcase so that while you're working in Bullhorn, everything goes immediately back and forth. All right, I think that's it for uh, my segment of the presentation. So we're going to jump over to Social Pro and Mackenzie, I think you're going to help us out. Perfect. Thanks, David. Um, so we've been doing a lot of new things with Social Pro this year and we've been seeing some really incredible results. So we just wanted to highlight two of our programs um, that also got recognized by the American Staffing Association this year. So the first one we have here is TempStaff, who actually won the Genius Grand Award for their social media campaign. And what we did with them is um, through their social media feeds, we shared a, a big variety of content, but some of it was the branded graphics, um, promoting the custom blog post they had written, the information about their hiring and recruiting of their top candidates, newly available positions, especially through the Facebook jobs feature, which um, Matt Lozar will talk about later, um, exceptional candidates who are placed through TempStaff, and through that they uh, really zoned in on a hashtag that they had created which stated, I got my job at TempStaff, and that uh, campaign is what actually won them their award. So they shared pictures and exciting news about these happy, excited candidates who had found jobs through them. And it was a really good way to show that they're part of the community, they're helping their community, and they're getting people jobs that are changing their lives. So those were fabulous things that we saw come out of the campaign, but it also really was good for their business because um, they had massive increases in website traffic. Um, I think it was around 46% overall, a 670% increase from social media, and 572% increase of new users to their website. So people who hadn't gone to tempstaff.com before were now finding tempstaff because of this new social campaign. And their social media traffic also exploded. They had a 952% increase from Facebook and an 82% increase from LinkedIn. So. These were really incredible results that they were very excited about and we were very excited about and they definitely deserved this big win from the American Staffing Association. So if you'll go to the next slide, David. Um, RPC was given the honorable mention this year for their social media campaign and it was also definitely very deserved. Um, their main objective was their new campaign called Find Your Next Superstar. Um, and what they wanted to do was show off RPC's most talented candidates on social media and essentially help get them hired. So to do this, um, the candidate bios were promoted on their talent showcase page, like what David had mentioned earlier, um, and driven back to the website. So in addition to that, there was brief social media teasers written and paired with eye-catching images, as you can see here. Um, and those all took the uh, users back to the talent showcase page or to candidates' specific bios where people could learn a little bit more about them and how they're qualified for the open positions. Um, and as far as results, since launching this campaign, we've seen huge steady increases in the traffic to the talent showcase on their company website. So um, they saw almost a 40% increase just to the talent showcase page, and they saw their social media traffic skyrocket. They had a 30% increase. Um, 
just from social media, Facebook increased by 15%, LinkedIn increased by 8%, and Twitter by 91%. Um, so even their website traffic increased by 18%. So these were great results and we're very excited to continue this campaign with them going forward. Thanks, Mackenzie. Uh, and you mentioned the Facebook jobs, if I'm not mistaken. Matt, you're up next to tell us what's going on with Facebook. Thanks, David. One of the, the benefits of working with our team here at the Hilly Marketing Group is we're always trying new things. And one of the biggest things with our Social Pro program this year was when Facebook announced its new Facebook's job feature. And when that launched in February 2017, we, we knew this would be a, a big thing and it's proved to be true. You know, it's not a passing fad. It's it's almost becoming, you know, it's becoming a little bit of a recruitment marketplace there for for all companies because any business or organization can post jobs on on Facebook. And you might be thinking, why Facebook? Well, you know, your candidates are on Facebook. You know, studies show people are on Facebook about 35 minutes a day, and that's a long time. And, you know, there's not a lot of things we do longer. It's about eat, sleep, and watch TV and, and go on Facebook. So to have your presence on Facebook in a, in a really tough candidate market can be a really good advantage for your team. And with your job postings, it, it's really important to, to post, you know, the information correctly, and it's a great way to co collect the leads for your team. You know, all of those tried and true principles of posting job descriptions on your website and your job board, you know, hold true for Facebook. We want position title, location, salary is always a big thing, job type, job details, anything that will provide more information and make things as clear as possible to your potential candidates works really well. And one of our, you know, we, we do this with, you know, dozens of our social pro clients, but one we just wanted to highlight today was, you know, it's a, a regional staffing firm. They work in the industrial sector, a lot of shipbuilding, you know, pipe fitters down in the Southeast. And their Facebook job strategy is really aggressive, but it works really well. We post about three to five different jobs a week for them. Um, and a lot of the traffic they get is organic. You can use Facebook paid promotion to reach an even stronger target audience. But when you post a job on your Facebook page, not only does it show to the people on your page, but Facebook collects it you know, in its jobs marketplace at facebook.com slash jobs and shows them to everybody you know, in your geographical area. So this company, you know, the industrial company that I talked about, you know, posting a few jobs a week and over a six month period, they were, you know, their jobs were seen over 39,000 times and they, and they generated over 500 applications, which is, which is great return. That's a, we really like to kind of show as much ROI as we can. And, and that's awesome for this company. And what's really beneficial with setting up Facebook jobs is as, you know, when it first launched at the beginning of the year, you know, you, you had to go back into Facebook to, to into its messenger app to grab the information. But as it developed, you know, as 2017 went along, you can put one email address into the job description and have those applications sent directly to somebody's inbox. So it could be the recruiter in your staffing agency that's recruiting for that job. And to have them just get leads right into their inbox is a really great tool. So Facebook jobs is a it's it's not going away. It's it's interesting because it also competes with Google for jobs. And, you know, before this year, we didn't even have, you know, these two big tech and Internet companies in the jobs marketplace. And now they're entering it pretty strongly. I'm going to pass it over here to Megezi, and he is going to talk about reputation management. Thank you, Matt. What I would love to um just go over real quickly is just the first off the importance of online reviews in this day and age right now more and more of us are managing our lives online and that also extends to our clients and candidates they are managing more of their, their life online and if your business is not being found but also if your reputation is not in good standing it could really hurt your hurt your um, ability to place jobs and to find prospects. In fact, nine out of 10 people today trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation. And so with our reputation management program, it's just a great program that helps our clients automate their efforts to repair, improve, and protect their online reputations. And as you can see with the images on the screen in front of you, um, on the top left is just a sample of, the, of how, what we do uh, for our clients. We help them get out a survey to their list, and it's a really 
simple survey just made up of two questions. The first one, how likely is their biz or is the person to recommend their business? And then the second question is just asking the person to provide a little more detail. Now, the power of the reputation management tool is for those who leave a positive review, we ask them to go ahead and share that on an online uh, review platform or social media um, platform. For those who leave negative or not so nice feedback, we redirect them to a private form. So that information is captured for our clients to be able to use to examine their internal processes and figure out where they can improve their business practices. But all in all, reputation management is just a great tool to repair your reputation by getting more positive reviews, improve it, or to protect it. Again, anyone who has something negative to say about your business, it helps you get in front of them and turn that in um, and redirect that information internally. Now, thus far with the service, our clients have collected over 18,800 five-star reviews. And that is just incredible. That's a lot of reviews that they didn't have to put really any more effort into just due to the automation of the of the service. And so what we've done thus far this year with the uh, service is you've always been able to take your positive reviews and easily share them onto your company website. And you'll see on the uh, bottom left and the on the right hand side are ways in which you can display your reviews. So you can show a badge, which has a nice summary of your reviews on a five star scale. And on the right, you can display a little more detail. Well, now we make it possible for you to actually use tags with your accounts. So for instance, you can have your five star reviews segmented by tagging some of those reviews, clients, and some of those reviews candidates. So you can separate the two groups. And then when it comes to displaying it on your site, you can actually segment your reviews so you can have only the client positive reviews showing up in the client section of your website and the candidate related reviews showing up in the candidate section of your website. And so you can take this even further and even segment by, for instance, uh, job type or for, for instance, uh, nurses versus doctors and different divisions within your company. So it's a great way to get in front of your your audience, gather that their feedback for those who leave you a positive review, making it super easy to display it on your site, segment it so it can go to different areas of your site depending on who is leaving the review and getting the, that feedback out on social media as well. With that, I will turn it over uh, to Todd to talk a little bit about Haley Mail. Yeah, thanks, Megezi. Um, as we all know, one of the biggest issues in the staffing industry right now is the ability to find really qualified candidates. And more and more, our clients have started, although not enough of them, have started doing some email marketing to candidates. And this is a great example from one of our clients from over the summer. Uh, we developed this uh, instant mail, we, we call it instant mails, they're basically one-off emails that uh, our clients can use to send out to their candidate list. And it basically says, you know, with, with summer being here, if you're looking for some extra summer help or you're looking to take the next step in your career, please give us a call. So one of my clients, and this is probably the best success story that we had uh, from this mailing, sent out uh, this mailing and within about an hour, they had five new qualified candidates send in their resumes. They were able to schedule all five of those candidates for interviews for various job positions. And the best part of it was they actually had a candidate who wound up turning into a client and actually placed a job order. And that was all within the first day that they sent out this mailing. So a lot of the stuff that we talk about with email marketing is um, content marketing and relationship marketing. Um, this, however, is a really great example of some direct response marketing and how just a very simple email can bring in a bunch of brand new candidates and can also bring in uh, some job orders as well. Uh, so with that, we're gonna turn it over to David who is going to tell us about another one of our clients who won a Genius Award. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, we're, as I mentioned in the beginning, sometimes everything old is new again, and we're 
big fans of direct marketing because right now so much marketing is done in the digital world that it can be hard to stand out if you're trying to do only social media or only email marketing or only paid advertising online. And if you're thinking about the clients in particular or high-end candidates that you really want to work with, sometimes the fastest, easiest way to get to them is the direct route. So for Keepers, we worked with them to design a direct marketing campaign to open doors with clients that they either had been trying to break into and hadn't had, hadn't had any success or clients with whom they had not tried to sell but uh, they thought they'd be a good fit and we sort of built it around a theme of a movie set so the first thing you see on the left is uh, the sample movie poster about hiring your next star and made it look like a coming attraction. Uh, then we followed that up with the the headshot mailer where you see casting for talent when inside that was a sample headshot uh, portraying not an individual person but the Keepers itself and all of the things that made Keepers a great company to work with and then we followed that with a movie script that walked people through the process of hiring their next superstar. And then we had, we integrated the direct marketing with the follow-up done by Keeper's sales team in their offices to do follow-up calls, emails, connect on LinkedIn to try to convert direct mail into appointments. And the campaign itself um, ran for a few months and we were able to generate 88 appointments, uh, close eight new clients, and uh, even though the the campaign was really focused on temporary staffing. The, uh, they actually made two direct hire placements in addition to the eight new uh, staffing clients, and those direct placements alone uh, more than paid for the cost of the direct marketing effort. So really successful way to open doors with people that were strategically targeted and integrate their sales process with the outbound marketing to help the sales team be more productive. All right, Kelly, let's jump and now take a look at some examples of marketing collateral. Yep, and back again with the everything old is new again, collateral is making a little bit of a comeback, a little bit of a bump in um, printed pieces. With Morris, Morris Bixby, you see that we've got a brochure that focuses, mag we use the magnifying theme to focus on their particular industry. They're very targeted in the agronomic talent industry. This is a booklet brochure. There's a version for a client and a candidate and a way to get to break through and make your pieces look a little different. This is a standard booklet brochure, but it's just a little bit of a different size printed at a seven by 10 size instead of a full eight and a half by 11. You can still mail it, still drop it off in an envelope and it gets a, more attention just having a unique size there. The next piece we're gonna look at is Halpin. They actually had brand new branding that was carried through several different pieces, including a booklet style brochure, a bifold, eight and a half by 11, final size, and a candidate sell sheet as well using their new logo carried throughout all of the pieces of their collateral. The next piece is for Razor Talent. It is a sell sheet. With a new website and a new look comes new collateral pieces a lot of times. This particular sell sheet is focused on selling their services to prospective clients and carries through the imagery and look of the website that was just developed in conjunction with these collateral pieces. And then the final piece we're looking at is Aptizen. They actually did a hiring survey and what they did is they collected data about hiring challenges facing tech firms in North America and pulled it into a booklet that they distribute electronically to prospective clients. This is a great way to get your um, prospects attention by giving them information that they've collected and pain points and similarities between all of the tech firms across North America. And it was a beautifully designed piece. And that's all right, thanks. for the collateral piece. Yeah, right. and, yep, right. not a problem. <laughs> I'm like, that was it. <laughs> All right, and Todd, you uh, now we're going to change gears a little bit and talk about a couple of cool things that Haley did this year and one that uh, I know is near and dear to your heart. So mm -hmm. tell us about Stickers of Staffing Success. Yeah, about uh, 
in the summertime, uh, we decided that it was time for Haley Marketing to launch a podcast uh, dedicated to the staffing industry. And the nice thing is there was nobody really doing a podcast dedicated to the staffing industry. So currently we're just about the only one out there. Um, but what we decided to do was talk with some of the thought leaders and innovators in the staffing industry and really understand, as the title says, their secrets to staffing success. And that's one of the really nice things that we found about the staffing industry is that everybody's really willing to share what's working, what isn't working for them. Um, so we've had some really great conversations with uh, with some of the, the biggest names and thought leaders in the staffing industry. We're up to about 11 episodes right now. We, we post one uh, every other week. Uh, you can find it on iTunes, on Google Play, on Stitcher, on Spotify. If you listen to podcasts on any of those, you can just go in and subscribe through that. Or if you have an Apple device, uh, they usually come preloaded with a podcast app. You can find it in there. Just search for Secrets of Staffing Success, and all of the brand new episodes can be sent directly to your device. Uh, they're really quick. They're about half hour each. Um, and our most recent uh, episode was with David Cerns, our founder. And so uh, I highly suggest checking that one out. That was really fun to uh, talk to David. And uh, we're also going to have coming up in December's Idea Club newsletter, we're going to have a bunch of the, the, the best lessons that we've learned so far through these past 11 episodes. So make sure you check that out when it comes up. And if there's anybody that you would like to see uh, featured on a future episode, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, send me an email. It's just Todd at HaleyMarketing.com. And like I said, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, you can find us on all of those platforms. So hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, please feel free to leave us a review on all those websites as well. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun being on the podcast. Um, what Todd didn't mention is that uh, unlike most guests where he sends out the list of questions in advance, they wanted to play Ambush David, and they asked everybody on the staff to come up with questions that they could surprise him with. Thankfully, um, everybody was very nice, so they were great questions. I had a ball uh, responding to them, and the, the podcast itself, um, for those who don't know, Todd has been a podcaster for many years now, uh, does a really cool show called The Radio Blast, and he had been encouraging us to look at the world of podcasting, and we've been thrilled with the, the response so far. Um, as Todd mentioned, we're just interviewing mostly owners, some consultants to the industry, and it's a, it's a very candid conversation for a half hour about what's going on in their business, and I've been... Um, really pleasantly surprised, I would say, by just how much people are willing to talk about what they do, how they do it, why they do it. Todd, you're exactly right. Uh, it's wonderful being in an industry where people are so willing to share. And I think, you know, when you listen to how other people have become successful, it not only helps your business, but when everybody gets better, the industry gets better. And ultimately, that does help all of us. All right. And we're actually... How unlike us for our webinar, we're at our last slide and we're ahead of time. So good job to the team Haley today. Um, I wanted to share one last thing, some fun stuff. So we like to experiment with marketing here at Haley Marketing Group. And uh, the number one uh, guinea pig for our experimentation is ourselves. So if we're going to try something new, we're going to play with it, see how it works and get some feedback. So a lot of you may be have heard of the world of virtual reality, have heard of augmented reality. There are technologies that are just starting to come into the mainstream and they allow us to experience things we might not otherwise easily be able to experience. In the case of virtual reality, you can see the uh, little cardboard box in the bottom of the slide, and there's a picture of, uh, I think that's Hugo from uh, Staffing Industry Analyst taking a peek through the cardboard viewer, which allows you to see a virtual world. And what we wanted to do is have a fun way to bring our portfolio to Staffing World. We have printed pictures we put on a wall, we have a computer we can show things, but this virtual world was actually quite literally, a variety of different landscapes that people could look at websites and social media and corporate identity work and email newsletter work and other thought leadership kinds of content. And that as you changed from one type of marketing to another, the world you were in changed and floating in space were examples of our projects that if you just looked at them, focused on them, uh, would open up and tell you a story about a particular project. And we had a lot of fun playing with the virtual reality and um, I guess 
it made an impact on at least one of our clients who's now taking the virtual reality that we experimented with and bringing it into their business and how they interact with their clients and how they interact with their candidates. And I can't divulge the details of what they're doing, but some really cool things about bringing virtual reality to staffing and then using even something as simple as this cardboard viewer as a way to introduce what can be done with virtual reality to their clients and to their candidates. The augmented reality is the other side, and that's you're not entering a completely immersive world like you are with VR. With AR, you're still in the real world, but maybe you're you're holding your phone up, looking at something, and all of a sudden what you're looking at changed. So a lot of you may have seen the craze with Pokemon Go uh, a year and a half ago, where the people from Nintendo said, hey, we can bring Pokemon back to life by making a game that you take your phone and you run around places, and all of a sudden you're looking at a the viewfinder on your phone and there's a Pokemon you can capture. That's augmented reality. So we had fun with it at Staffing World, so all of our Genius Award winners this year, if you took your phone and you looked at through your phone at the paper printouts on the wall, they would come to life. If, if it was a website, you'd actually see the website in action. You, You'd see a story if it was a direct mail project about what happened and what the pieces look like. And for the staffing world, you know, this augmented reality is, presents a lot of potential opportunity. If I'm interviewing a candidate, uh, and this will be coming probably once with the next generation of human computer interface, which is going to be glasses, so those Google glass things that didn't really take off. Google just reannounced them again. Apple's got a patent or many patents on their new glasses product. You're going to be able to do things like look through your glasses and see the world around you highlighted. So imagine visiting a candidate or having a discussion with a candidate and their LinkedIn profile is right up there by their side or ba other background information is about that candidate or you meet someone at a cocktail party and if you're like me and you can't remember names, um, hey, there's all the information about that person right in the view. So augmented reality has the ability to enhance what we're already seeing. We had fun playing with it. The applications in staffing are, are just starting to happen. And I wanted to share this today for show and tell because if you think about how you sell, if you think about how you market, if you think about how you recruit, are there new technologies? Are there new techniques? What can you do to play with new things, to experiment, to run your own tests so that you don't look like everybody else, so that you attract more people to your organization, so that you're able to make more placements, you're able to keep people wanting to work for you, do these experiments yourself, have some fun, implement them in your own business, and if you need ideas, hey, that's what we're here for. So feel free to give us a call, and we'd be happy to brainstorm. Uh, if there are any questions from show and tell, uh, we'll be happy to stay in the line. There was a couple about reviews that came in that we answered along the way. But if anything else that's piquing your interest, please feel free to let us know. Uh, if not, we want to wish everybody the happiest of holidays. We hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. Enjoy a little time off. And then we will see you again uh, in the new year. Hard to believe 2018 is almost here, but uh, we're going to be talking about how not to sell staffing in just a few weeks on Thursday, January 11th. And from everybody uh, here at Hilly Marketing Group, thank you so much for being part of today's webinar.